South African counterpart, Carson has overcome astonishing odds to become a world-class surgeon. He also grew up against a backdrop of racial tension and violence in an impoverished single-parent family in 60s Detroit. When I was in grade school, my nickname was Dummy because none of my classmates thought that I was very smart. The teachers agreed with them, and I agreed with them, so there was pretty much unanimous agreement. But while cleaning other people's houses, Carson's mother came up with a clever idea to make her two sons work harder. For the most part, these were wealthy people. They didn't spend all their time, you know, watching television and playing games and being silly. They spent a lot of time reading and strategizing and planning. So Sonia Carson made her sons read books and submit reports about them twice a week. We didn't know she couldn't read them. And within a year and a half, I went from the bottom of the class to the top of the class. Carson went on to become the youngest ever director of pediatric neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins University Hospital. In 1987, he made headlines around the world by separating two German boys joined at the head. And although both suffered brain damage, miraculously, they both survived. 